Did you know the air over a quiet Oklahoma farm now carries the same industrial toxins once thought limited to big factories? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're uncovering how medium chain chlorinated paraffins, MCCPs, ride heat and wind straight into your lungs, and what you can do right now to lower your daily dose. I'm Alara Sky. MCCPs rarely make headlines, yet they behave like PFAS forever chemicals, lodging in your fat, scrambling hormone signals, and stressing every cell that tries to detox them. Let's walk through the new study that tracked these toxins minute by minute and why simple lifestyle tweaks give you real control over exposure. Researchers set up high-resolution air sensors over rural Oklahoma farmland for about a month. They captured MCCPs almost every single day, hitting 3,100 picograms per cubic meter, levels on par with industrial zones in China. That finding alone tells you pollution isn't just a city problem. It's drifting wherever the wind, heat, and local farming practices allow. Those monitors showed a clear pattern. MCCP concentrations spiked late morning through mid-afternoon, then plunged after sunset. Heat pulls the chemicals out of soil, sludge-treated fields, and PVC-laden debris. As temperatures drop, the toxins settle back onto surfaces, ready to relaunch with the next day's warmth. If you garden, jog, or work outside during peak heat, you're inhaling the highest dose. Six lightweight M, CCP molecules dominated the samples. They contained 14 or 15 carbon atoms and six or seven chlorine atoms, making them volatile enough to float. Heavier variants lingered in dust and upholstery, posing a second threat indoors. Think of it as a two-front battle. Light MCCPs for your lungs outdoors, heavy ones for long-term indoor contact. The study also caught oxidized MCCPS, versions altered by sunlight and air pollutants. Some formed hydroperoxides known to damage cells. Others bonded with nitrogen from car exhaust or fertilizer runoff. These byproducts rose and fell with daily heat, just like the originals, meaning you inhale a cocktail of newly reactive compounds, not just the parent chemical. What powers the plume? Local biosolid fertilizer appears central. Wastewater sludge spread on conventional fields contains both PFAS and MCCPs. Oklahoma lawmakers recently banned these biosolids, underscoring how serious the contamination is. When hot southwestern winds rolled across treated soil, airborne MCCPS peaked. When wind shifted, levels sank. That real-time link nails the source. Because MCCPs are lipophilic, they slip through cell membranes and collect in fat, yours and every animal in the food chain. Over time, they stir up oxidative stress, disrupt thyroid and sex hormones, and burden mitochondria, the organelles that power detox. That's why lowering exposure and strengthening mitochondrial function go hand in hand. So what can you do today? First, rethink your produce. Choose certified organic or farmers who reject sludge fertilizers. The study shows even swapping a few conventional items cuts intake because you're removing a key contamination pathway. Plants grown in MCCP-rich soil and irrigation water. Second, treat indoor air like the front line it is. Standard particle filters can't trap gas phase MCCPS. You need an air purifier with a deep bed of activated carbon or equivalent gas media. Run it in living and sleeping areas especially if you keep windows open or live downwind of farmland, drilling, or waste sites. Third, adopt a shower soon habit. After yard work, dog walks, or kids' outdoor play during hot afternoon hours, wash off before MCCPs migrate from skin oils into your bloodstream. Use warm water and a mild, fragrance-free cleanser. Synthetic scents often hide similar chlorine-rich compounds. Fourth, audit household materials. PVC flooring, vinyl shower curtains, older couches coated with flame retardants, and plastic-wrapped cables continuously off-gas MCCPs. When you replace items, choose solid wood, organic cotton, wool, or metal. Vacuum weekly with a HEPA machine to capture dust that traps heavier MCCP residues. Fifth, support mitochondrial resilience. Step into gentle morning sunlight 
to sync your circadian clock. Move your body daily to pump blood and lymph, and fuel with whole food carbs like fruit and root veggies, plus saturated fats such as grass-fed butter and tallow. Avoid seed oils, rich in linoleic acid, until you've cleared them for at least six months, then safely enjoy midday sun for vitamin D. Notice none of these steps require perfection. They're layered defenses. Skip biosolids in your diet, filter the indoor air you control, rinse off surface exposure, and power up cellular detox. Each layer narrows the pipeline delivering MCCPS into your tissues. The Oklahoma findings also highlight timing. Whenever possible, schedule outdoor chores before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. when airborne MCCP levels are lowest. If midday exposure is unavoidable, a wide brim hat and breathable long sleeves reduce skin contact, and a portable carbon-infused mask can cut what you inhale. Parents remember children breathe faster and play close to the ground where heavier pollutants settle. Using a doormat, leaving shoes by the door, and frequent hand washing prevent MCCP-laden dust from migrating to toys, snacks, and tender skin. Finally, stay informed. MCCPs aren't yet regulated like PFS, but awareness is growing. Community testing programs, sludge-free farming initiatives, and legislative bans all start with people who demand cleaner soil and air. Sharing study results with local officials and neighbors amplifies pressure for change. Your practical challenge this week is simple. Pick one layer of defense and act. Swap a PVC item for a safer alternative, install a carbon filter, or shift outdoor workouts to cooler hours. Each choice trims the invisible load your body handles daily. By cutting sources and boosting resilience, you give your mitochondria room to thrive. And that shows up as steadier energy, balanced hormones, and stronger immunity long before lab tests catch up. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.